morning you guys i woke up a little bit later today i just like could not wake up i'm on my period and it was so bad yesterday and whenever my period is bad i just like need my sleep and i cannot wake up like my body is just so low energy that i just need to give it its rest and that's like all a part of like listening to my body and like resting when i need to pushing myself when i need to but this morning i just needed to sleep in an extra hour and just let my body sleep but anyways, I'm still gonna go to the gym. I'm just probably gonna go a little bit like lighter. I'm not gonna push my body too hard, but I do want to get my body moving since I'm just off of the weekend and I already had a few rest days. I want to at least like walk on the treadmill, see if I feel like doing more today. And I also need to go grocery shopping anyways, so I'm getting out of the house regardless. So I may as well pop in the gym and if I do a full workout, I do a full workout. And if I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna like put any expectations there. I'm just gonna see how I feel. Our cycle is so important and how we treat ourselves around our cycle is so important being more in tune with your cycle is also really good and important and could probably really help you even though i have an iud for like endometriosis purposes i still get a period it's still bad and my period is just a beast you guys like it's really bad it's really really bad even with the iud i wasn't even supposed to get a period anymore and i still do i still feel pain and it's just like something that i've struggled with for years of my life it's something that i've learned to accept about myself this is just what i have to struggle with and i'm gonna do the most that i can to help my body during this time so anyways that is the tea of the morning i'm gonna get into my workout set now i'm definitely gonna do an all black workout set since i'm on my period she's like a literal volcano down there you guys see am i but like it's so bad anyways okay i'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna go to the gym also you guys how freaking cute are my pajamas like are you kidding me these are the other set that my sister madison bought me from walmart from walmart are you kidding me they're so soft and comfortable and i love the little floral pattern going on and they're so comfy these are such a sleigh So happy i went to the gym it's like the best euphoric feeling once you finish your workout and you're like yep i literally did that i went there i worked out i moved my body and then now for the rest of the day i'm a happy camper also it's feeling like summer right now it was literally i'm not even kidding you just snowing like a day or two ago i'm pretty sure it was snowing yesterday as well and today it's like i feel the heat it's sunny it it's feeling like summer and it's kind of hot like I when I was walking out of the gym I didn't even need my jacket because it's warm but anyways when I could put the sunglasses on that's when you know it's a good day just at the grocery store I'm gonna go in and I just need to get a few things for dinner I'm gonna stop at this grocery store and then a different one because I like to get my meat from a specific grocery store I love Meridian meats they're like grass-fed local and all of that versus like if you just get a generic meat from the store usually they have like antibiotics in them and they're not local so i really like making sure that when i have like my meat and when i'm eating meat it's like very clean and local and i just really like to prioritize that so i'm just gonna get like the bulk of my groceries here and then go to the meat shop but i'm thinking this week for dinner to make taco salad because that was so freaking good last week when i made it it was just like hit the spot and it was so easy i love a good hearty easy dinner taco bowls are so good for that so i'm gonna get stuff for taco bowls and then i think for the rest of the dinners this week i'm just gonna do like a meat and a fish and then salad and rice just to make it easy and i don't have 
to think too hard into making recipes. That is the vibe. I already pre-wrote my grocery list in the gym. I always forget to do this when I go to the gym. But today I was like, no, I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna figure out what we're having for dinner because like, well, I'm in between my sets. I like need to keep myself busy. So I'm like, I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna make for dinner and write out my grocery list. So I got my grocery list here. I'm gonna go in quickly. Don't have to get much today. So it's nice. I'm hoping to be in and out of there in 20 minutes. So let's see if we could do it. I'm gonna set a timer because I have to get home, make my smoothie, shower, and then get ready to go back out because I have a nail appointment with Madison today. So that is the vibe and the plan for today and right now. I also want to make my March goals today because it's already March 5th. I haven't set like new goals recently and I feel like I've been really called to do that recently. So I really want to do that tonight or like sometime this week. So anyways, let's go. overview grocery haul so i just got some bananas some mushrooms for this week's dinner cucumbers and i really wanted to try these salad kits they're organic just to spice things up um some mushrooms more mushrooms actually didn't even realize i got two then i just got some pork chops some chicken wings and then some ground beef for this week's dinners got some strawberries just because i love having a fruit and i really am excited to try these chips they're made with olive oil and the ingredients are pretty impressive so i'm excited to try these they're made with brown rice flour and then i already showed you guys these amazing burritos from amy's i just needed a restock to put in my freezer got some coconut sugar got some zevia and then just got some nacho chips and then i also got this organic chocolate cereal this is like my guilty pleasure it's gluten free and it's just like so good for a quick little bowl of cereal for desserts so love that this little grocery haul gonna put this all away <laughs> totally rushing out of the door but these are the last glance at these nails because madison and i are just about to go in to get them done they buy to the cutie valentine's day heart nails and i'm gonna get french chips so i'm really excited but these nails coming to an end is kind of sad because i really really liked them but anyways i'll show you guys when i'm done got our nails done look at how cute they're like the same but different i will always go back to french tip because it's just so cute but anyways um i'm gonna head or we're gonna head to the mall now because we need a birthday dress we're celebrating our birthdays next week mine's on the 17th madison's is on the 7th so hers is literally in a couple days but we're celebrating like we're going out together for them and we have been in a bit of a panic because we looked at one mall couldn't find anything looked online i couldn't find anything like i just don't know yeah what the heck to get so we need to scour this mall right now and if we don't find anything i don't know what i'm gonna do we'll see what we find we usually never do anything except for my 19th birthday i swear that was the last time you did something to wait do you i don't remember your 19th birthday anyway so I'm gonna go to the mall let you guys know what we find hopefully we can find swamp things stressing me out because ordering stuff from online you never know how long that could take like we need to express ship if we're gonna do that at this point girl you're saying it like it's like in three days we have 10 days yeah but if we're ordering from like somewhere like princess polly that takes like two a good two weeks to come in so you need to express ship that pray for us pray that we find something let's go <laughs>
got myself dressed and kind of ready-ish for the day. You guys, yesterday and today, I have been, like I said, I think I told you guys, on my period. And it has affected me so much. Like, my mood is just not it. And, like, I have just been getting frustrated and stressed and worried and just, like, anxiety for no reason. That's what happens when I'm on my period. Like, I just get these hormones that literally make me feel like shit. It's just so horrible and i know it's just purely my period because this happens every single time sometimes it's better sometimes it's a bit worse but right now like my stomach hurts i had to kind of force myself to go to my workout this morning because i knew it would make me feel better if i went like for the long term you know <laughs> and i just like was not feeling it this morning i just really didn't want to go and i could have stayed home but i also was like you know what let's go let's bring some good vibes because i do love my power core club Class. ended up going and it actually made me in a way better mood and so i'm really really glad that i went to that this morning but anyways y'all i have been going through it <sighs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, I just feel like pure shit. That's basically what it is. And I just don't feel like doing anything. And this littlest thing that happens, I just get so aggravated and I just want to go lay in bed and curl up and just sleep all day. But anyways, I don't mean to come on here and be a Debbie Downer. I just wanted to be real with you guys because like I struggled, like I said, with my period. It just sucks sometimes. Like it really does so anyways i have quite a bit to do today i have a lot of editing to do i was going to upload a video today and i wanted to do twice a week this week start like the new schedule but with a sponsorship things like didn't end up working out so i actually have to save the video i was going to post today and post it on sunday and then going forward from there then i'll do like my new schedule so that was like very disappointing but it's okay everything happens for a reason when i have a mindset like this when it's around this time of the month and i'm just feeling so shit about everything i just let myself feel that i'm like it's gonna pass it's fine also everything happens for a reason it's chill i'm gonna feel better soon and i know it. like as soon as my period ends i'm like weight is lifted i feel amazing again like it's just so annoying anyway so yeah i have to finish editing a video i need to film something submit it get that video done and then i have to also edit my form form content to put up and i need to figure out what to get madison for her birthday because it's her birthday tomorrow and i'm gonna be spending the whole day with her and i don't know if i feel like going out today to be honest to get her a gift i just like i'm not feeling it but i don't really know what to get her anyway she doesn't have anything that she specifically wants i know she wants us to be a surprise so i'm thinking of potentially ordering something online or maybe i'll go into the mall today we'll see i know she doesn't care if i give her her gift like next week like it's the same thing to her like i know she won't really care but anyway so i need to figure that out because i have no idea what to get her anyways that's the vibes for today i thought that i would get myself ready because i need to film today and i'll Obviously, I want to look presentable. This top is from Garage. I actually bought it recently. How freaking cute is it? I'm actually obsessed. I'll link her down below. It comes in pink and black. It's just so so cute but yeah so i definitely feel better that i got like myself ready today i think right now i'm gonna make a matcha because i don't think coffee is going to sit in my stomach okay like i think i will die if i have coffee right now so trying to avoid that i'm gonna have a matcha then get to work get my to-do list done for the day i'm just like feeling so overwhelmed right now because like how my period makes me feel but i broke down what i needed to do today i just gotta get it done and i also figured out what i'm gonna do for my birthday dress so that's like a weight off my shoulders ordered that oh <sighs> anyways i just wanted to be with you guys because like us women we go through it our bodies go through so much on a month-to-month -month basis like we have a whole cycle like that is actually insane and i feel like it's not like talked about enough especially with women who struggle with it that is like crazy to me that we go through this every single month i just feel like it's such a normalized thing if you can relate know that you're not alone so anyways okay let's make a matcha and get our stuff done for today even though i literally don't feel like doing anything <laughs> Cheers to this matcha making me feel better. <laughs> matcha literally never disappoints. Cheers. Let's go do some work. Hey guys, so I just got a bunch of work done, which just feels like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Like a lot of the times when I'm stressing about stuff that I need to do, I just need to do it. I just need to sit down and do it and then the stress will be gone. Thinking of it is so daunting sometimes, but 
once you actually do it it's not as daunting as it was in your head and it's funny how that works i realized like what really has been helping me lately is not only making a to-do list but time blocking like i time blocked today and yesterday and what i basically did was i just wrote down like roughly in my notebook i also have just like this notebook sitting on my desk for whenever i want to write something like it's so handy it's just like a scrap notebook that i write anything on so i basically was like okay from 11 to 12 i'm gonna do this from 12 30 to 1 i'm gonna do this you would be surprised what time blocking can do when you work a job or when you have to do things that doesn't really require specific timing it doesn't have like an end date like you don't need a clock in it's really really helpful to give yourself that schedule if you're somebody that can get off track and sidetracked like me so making that kind of time block schedule literally i got so much done because i was like so focused and also it prevented me from going on my phone because i had like little goals to finish something within the hour so i'm like nope i gotta work i gotta get it done and then obviously like scheduling little breaks in between but like oh my gosh if you guys struggle with time management time block it literally helps so much even if it's like the stupidest thing like i had to blow dry my hair i put that in the time block and i'm like from this time to this time blow dry hair this time to this time do this and it's like so helpful because then you don't get sidetracked and you know exactly what you need to do and then you plan your day so that you get everything done within the timing anyways i thought that i would share because it's actually really 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 helps me and it's like literally a game changer so but i actually had some of a celsius because i had no energy i had a matcha but matcha, matcha has really low caffeine and when i'm on my period i am like extra low energy like i can't do anything so the days when i need to get work done if i'm on my period i can't have coffee so um but yeah anyways i got the majority of things that i needed to get done done right now i just need to film a little tiktok haul for garage i need to make a thumbnail a couple other things before i'm done for the day and the sun is coming out which is really really beautiful at night so i'm gonna continue working and i'll talk to you guys later you guys, I'm so excited because I finally got a new water filter. If you guys didn't already know, drinking filtered water is actually so important and can really have so many health benefits. So this is the Water Drop Mega Electric Water Filter, and it has an ultra large capacity of up to 27 cups, so it can be used in a household with multiple people, no problem. And as you can see, it's also super easy to set up. This water filter reduces 30 plus substances in your water including things like chlorine and lead definitely things we want to keep out of our bodies the filter itself lasts for 200 gallons which will give you about three months which is a super long time for a filter it also has a 30-day battery life on a single charge so you don't need to worry about constantly having to plug it in it's super super portable you can bring it from room to room you could bring it literally camping or even stored in the fridge and you won't have a problem its water tank is also bpa free so it's super safe Safe. and it's also super easy to use with its one key control and within a second the water starts dispensing and you guys the water tastes so good and purified but yeah i will have the link to this water drop filter in my description and it's actually so much more affordable than you would think thank you so much to water drop for sponsoring today's video but seriously you guys should be drinking filtered water because it makes such a big difference so currently just chilling watching vanderpump rules if you guys haven't watched it i know it's like all the hype right now but like it's actually pretty entertaining it's like such like a stupid show and like there's so much drama i question if these people are real because it's actually that crazy the stuff that goes on in the show is just i didn't know there were human beings like that so it's actually crazy but it is very entertaining so i do watch it i just finish mostly everything that i need to finish for today so that's just like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders i didn't figure out a birthday gift for madison yet but i think i'm just going to give her a late birthday gift which i know she won't mind so i definitely want to put thought into it so i'm not gonna like just buy something to buy it like i want to actually you know find something good to get her 
so i'm not going to stress about it one of the things that i was like thinking recently and talking to with a friend is it's so important to just like surrender to god surrender to the universe surrender to just like the flow of your life and i feel most aligned in my life when i just completely surrender myself and by that i mean like obviously take action on what you want but at the same time don't put so much pressure on everything don't micromanage everything don't worry don't stress about like the little stupid things that don't need to be stressed about and just completely have the knowing and just surrender yourself to the unknown to god to the universe and know that everything is going to be taken care of i feel like that's so important and that's when i feel most aligned is when i don't care about anything i tend to micromanage my life a lot and i tend to worry about the stupidest things that really don't need to be worried about and i feel like a lot of people can relate like for example money is just like a huge thing that people stress about but at the end of the day like money is not even real money is something that we created and money does not come with us with when we die like it has no relevance to our soul so many things can be thrown at us in life and things may not go our way but at the end of the day like surrendering yourself is just so important i feel like that's when you really just receive all your manifestations in the book called ask and it is given that's what they say in the book you just have to surrender and open yourself up to all possibilities and just trust and that is when you get the abundance and everything you attract is going to come to you because you are aligning yourself with the most positive best frequency and basically you're just kind of in a state of meditation at that point so things can easily flow into your life and when we worry and we stress we block a lot of things out that we don't even realize if you're manifesting something right now but you're worried about it and you keep thinking about it and you're stressing about it the manifestation is not going to come into your life because you have a block towards it and you're resisting it but when you completely surrender yourself you are opening yourself up to that manifestation and it will flow into your life that's something that i've been trying to work on surrendering to the present moment surrendering to god and just leaving it up to the universe and that's it it's just the best way to live because obviously still got to take action like i said but like there's no need to worry everything works out in the end guys think about any hard time that you've been through and look at you now you went through it you came out better and you're on the other side like everything always ends up working out no matter what so stressing about it does not change anything if anything is just going to delay you and make things worse so anyways my mind has just been so crazy these past couple days the hormones like i've been saying so crazy but just thought that i would share my thoughts that is truly how you level up your state of consciousness surrendering is the word of the month i'm gonna continue watching vanderpump rules just like chill probably for another hour and then i'm gonna go up at like seven and get ready for bed a little bit early tonight because i love my time in bed but i'm excited because tomorrow we are going out for my sister's birthday we're gonna take her to breakfast and i'm gonna spend the day with her so i'm really excited so i want to get a good night's rest tonight i will talk to you guys later so I'm just kind of wrapping up things for the night because I came on my computer. This computer in this office has been a game changer for me. I am in this room all the time now and I never really used to use this room before. But I love this room so much now and I just come in here for fun to work. It's amazing. It's the best thing I've done. But anyways, I am so random. But if you guys are looking for new pens, get these Sharpie ones. Um, I'll have them linked down below. Got them off Amazon. They're the Sharpie felt tip and they're such good pens like you know when pens you write and then sometimes it's like blotchy like these are not splotchy these are my journaling pens like i use these pens for everything they're my favorite and they don't transfer through the paper they're amazing anyways so random but i'll have them links i got this journal at the dollar store literally for like four dollars now that i think about it the dollar store should not be four dollars anyways but it has like a little magnet clasp here and this has been my 2024 journal i have been really actually keeping up in with writing in it and i want to continue to do more and more and more but i really just want this to document like my year and be the place where i just write my goals in my rants and then like at the end of the year i can have this kind of diary for 2024 that's my vision with this journal and i've been keeping it on my desk and i get really inspired to write in it especially at nighttime. So i just feel like that's when like everything comes to me so yeah i keep it on my desk and sometimes i'll like bring it to my bed to write but i really just want to make sure that i make a point of writing in it when something happens when i just want to around so that i can have this little time capsule because i feel like my videos are great it's a time capsule obviously but this is like inside my head type of time capsule you know what i mean thought 
thoughts and feelings personal stuff i just plan on making this like a manifestation slash 2024 journal slash just like this year wrapped into one book is gonna be this i was thinking about potentially wanting to make it like all cute and like scrapbooking like but i feel like I, i'm gonna put off doing that rather than just like being able to write in it freely whenever i want but i might do a couple things like glue some photos in it or whatever but i just want to make sure that i'm not putting too much pressure on it to make it look perfect i'm just gonna do whatever i'm feeling in the moment but i can't wait i'm putting like a pin board behind my computer here so i can really make a big vision board for myself i actually have it right here joel just needs to help me hang it anyways yeah i've been in my journaling era i just wanted to say and i am usually like not really want to journal i feel like i do the five minute journal but like other than that it's not something that i do very frequently but i've made a point of starting this this year and it's been great so i would definitely recommend getting a journal because then you can really look back into your year like time flies you guys time literally flies and my memory is so bad like when i want to think back to what i was thinking just a month ago i don't remember and it's funny how you can forget multiple things that you've been through multiple things that you've thought you can like easily forget it if you don't document it and write it down so i just feel like having this is going to be so freaking cool to look back on and i've never done anything really like this because i've never kept up with it like i've never kept up with it but this year we are keeping up with it <sighs> yeah it is 8 30 i need to get to bed i need to get to bed i've just been feeling extra chatty today okay Good morning you guys about to pop out of the house but i just wanted to show you my outfit i'm super casual oh my gosh i need my passport because we're going across the border good thing i remembered that but i will take you guys along with us today but i'm just wearing these jeans from white fox and then this crew neck from i actually got it from a brand and i'm just wearing a tank top underneath and i'm gonna bring a jacket the weather is so weird it's like sunny but cold but also warm so i kind of wanted to do a little bit of a layering situation then i'm just wearing my nikes and my thrifted purse that's the bit for today, just super casual. I'm gonna go for breakfast first, and then we're going across the border, but I will take you guys along today. But that is the little outfit of the day. So Madison and my siblings and my mom, we all went for breakfast for her birthday and then we made our way down across the border to the States and now we're going to Crumble Cookie for the first time in our lives, guys. We have never been. Unfortunately, I am like 99% gluten free, so I couldn't have a full cookie to myself, but I did have a little bite and oh my gosh, it was so good. It was so hard not to devour all of those cookies, but wow, were they ever good. And apparently they're opening a location in Vancouver, so we're really excited. And after we did that, we just kind of drove around, went to a few stores that Madison wanted to go to, went to the gas station because they have really good energy drinks here that they don't have in Canada. So that was fun. Strawberry Prime. I'm tempted to try her because I really like primes, but didn't know they had strawberry watermelon. I feel like this is not in Canada. There's so many drinks here. All. We're getting Flaming Hot Cheetos because I was watching the Flaming Hot Cheeto movie yesterday and I've been craving them. What's and up? I'm getting uh, Disney Plus. And I'm getting the Strawberry Strawbango Ghost and the Sour Pink Lemonade. Birthday. Okay, bomb metal. Then we obviously had to hit up all of the united states stores that we don't have we went to hobby lobby goodwill trader joe's got a couple of things i will give you guys a haul in a bit and then yeah we headed home and then had a cake for madison and that was basically our day
Hey guys, so I just got home from my family's house because we went to go have cake and dinner there. And it is currently 1040. I have a workout class at 7 a.m. tomorrow, which means I have to be up at like 5.30, 5.45. So I'm going to get to bed soon. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a haul from the States. I didn't get much, but I did spend like $100 or so. We were there for like five hours. It feels like we were there for like two. Time has been flying by so fast recently. I don't know what has been happening, but it's been actually crazy. This day has just like literally snap of the finger it's gone like this whole week actually this whole month this whole past few months snap of the finger like what is happening so we popped in ross because we don't have a ross in canada but it kind of gives winners and i'm so excited because i got this painting and i love the gold frame on it like i think it's so pretty and the painting is also really really pretty and i love the vintage vibe and it was only 17 dollars so you can't really go wrong with that and i think i'm gonna hang it up in our bedroom because i've been looking for a painting to put in our bedroom so i got this one and then i also got this one as well so they're kind of matching like the frames are the same the paintings are just a little bit different or completely different but they're like the same style and i'm thinking of either hanging up one in the bedroom or putting them side by side not sure exactly what we're gonna do yet but i think that they're so cute and i've been looking for art to hang in this house because we have like nothing on the walls and so we need to spice it up a little bit and so i'm really happy i found these and i've just been looking for like a perfect you know picture frame and stuff to hang in the house my mom is gonna paint us a painting for the living room here or i mean the dining room over there on that wall because my mom is an artist and she just got back into painting and so she's gonna paint this one for here but i don't want to make her paint like a million paintings so i just got these for now and i can all switch up the paintings and keep the frames so that's the sleigh and this is so random but also at ross i got this cute little makeup bag and it has a little bow here i don't know if you can tell but it's like check blue checkered pattern and oh my goodness i just love it so much like the inside is like striped black and it's just so cute i've been looking for like a sturdy makeup bag because right now all the ones i have are like floppy and this one is just perfect this is like the exact size that i would need for my makeup because i don't even have much but i got this and like the bow are you kidding it's just so freaking cute and it was only like seven dollars and then i also got this which is kind of matching to it it's like the same brand with the bow it was only like five dollars it's just a little mini little mini case for like my brushes or whatever and i just like how the material is super sturdy it's not like one of those flimsy ones so i don't know where i'm traveling to hopefully i'm traveling somewhere soon but i think these are so cute you're kidding me look at these look at the pattern and the little bows i just couldn't help myself it's so vintage-esque kind of like girly but also just like timeless i don't know i think that they're so freaking cute and then so random but i got these sunglasses they're from steve madden and they're like a bigger square type of sunglasses put them on so you guys can see so that is the vibe i had a pair just kind of like this but they fell in the ocean when i was in portugal i was in the ocean they were i think i was wearing them and then they fell off and i went to go grab them and then the wave just swept them away completely so i was like whatever so anyways i love myself a good big chunky pair of sunglasses or just like in the summer and then last things i got is just so random we went to hobby lobby and i just got this pack of 50 cream cardstock pack just because i want to start kind of doing writing my goals out on something big and like putting it up on my pin board that i'm gonna hang above my computer and i just need like paper because i don't really have any arts and craft supplies in my house so i just wanted to like start my collection with that kind of stuff so i just got this huge stock of paper and it was 40 percent off so slay and then i got some um scrapbooking paper whatever and it's vintage floral 20 designs are you kidding me 12 12.99 40 off and there's just like a bunch of like cute floral designs in here so i can like write stuff on here write my goals on here i'm a very visual person and like i think i'm just missing that in my life right now so anyways growing my little arts and crafts collection i guess you could say that is pretty much the haul but yeah anyways i will see you guys tomorrow morning i'm gonna be so tired but i'm gonna get ready for bed real quick and get to sleep as fast as possible because today was a long day but it also felt really short i don't know i was flying it's grouping me out talk to you guys tomorrow see you in the morning
so tired so tired right now for some reason i feel sick i felt like i drank last night i in fact did not drink one turn so i don't know why i feel sick maybe it's because of the lack of sleep sometimes i do feel sick when i have to wake up early but i kind of remember waking up in the middle of the night and i was feeling a little sick kind of like throw up sick which is weird so i hope that doesn't get worse i'm still gonna go to my workout so hopefully this passes but like what the hell i also had the most vivid weird dream you guys i literally had a dream that the world ended and it was like this virus going around like a zombie virus and oh my god it was just so weird like i had that dream the whole entire night it was so long is it raining i literally hear the rain oh my gosh i just want to stay in bed and sleep but it's okay because it's friday happy friday you guys happy friday i can't wait to sleep in tomorrow happy weekend oh my gosh anyways i gotta go i'm already running late I snoozed my alarm twice. I am just so tired. I'm like an 8 to 9 to 10 hour girly of sleep, not a 7 to 6. Potentially, I got 6 hours of sleep. No, 5 and a half. No, 6. It was 6. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready for my workout. I'll see you guys there. Love you. <sighs> I've been just like working and editing all day and I woke up feeling so hungover like I wasn't just tired but I felt hungover even though we had nothing to drink last night it's so weird because I know different pains from different pains like when I have my period cramps I can differentiate that between like a stomach ache and like when I'm hungover it's such like a distinct feeling like I know what that feels like and this morning I felt hungover and I'm like what is happening and I was like I even told Joel I was like I just feel so shitty this morning I feel hungover like I don't know why like we didn't even drink then Madison texted me this morning and she's like oh my gosh I feel so hungover for some reason and I was like what like I didn't even tell her I felt hungover and she just told me and I'm like you're actually kidding me like what did we eat yesterday or drink that made it us sick because like we both felt sick and like dizzy in the morning and that's never happened in my life like i've never woken up and said oh i feel hungover when i have been drinking so that's why it's super weird i was trying to like retrace our steps yesterday and be like okay what the heck did we eat what did we do that would make us sick like this and i don't know i mean i feel fine now i feel like i sweated out after my workout and like i drank a bunch of water but like it's just so weird like that it's never happened that's never happened before and madison also said like this is her distinct hungover feeling at the end of the day alcohol is pretty much poison so i'm like did we get like poisoned yesterday or something by something i don't know anyway so i'm just wrapping up work for today so happy it's friday joel and i are gonna go out to eat tonight and just like have a chill little date night but i just got a package so i wanted to show you guys i bought some new shoes because i have been in my shoe era recently like i've been wanting to like up my shoe game because i haven't bought a new pair of shoes in like who knows how long and i just need to up my shoe game so anyways let's give you guys a little haul so i I got these um i ordered off foot locker i got these black and white with the tan base i think they're called sam bays because they're like the platform ones but they're sambas but platforms a little bit and how freaking cute you're kidding me i can't wait to make outfits with this like even just this with a pair of jeans i'm a size seven and a half i'm actually obsessed and i got one more pair so these are just the original sambas how cute are they these are like super trendy and in right now but like i feel like they're just such a good staple shoe but anyways so that is the tea of the day um i just don't feel the best still like i took an hour and a half nap this morning and that made me feel kind of somewhat better but like i'm still not 100 percent. so i'm like did we get poisoned yesterday it's just like super weird my period is also coming to an end so i feel like a lot better in that sense too which is nice i also just got a package from this company called sniff and i just wanted to share it with you guys they sent me a bunch of pr how sweet this is their little card that they 
gave to me with the package. So proud to bring fine fragrance to the laundry room with clean, non-toxic and non-irritating formulas. How freaking cool is that? You guys know I'm like really picky on, you know, toxins and stuff and I try to be as clean as possible. But first impressions, look at how cute their packaging is. Like I'm all about the aesthetics when it comes to packaging and like companies branding themselves right. But let me unbox so I can show you guys the like actual products. Oh my gosh, this is just so aesthetic. Have you ever seen a laundry detergent this aesthetic? I don't think so. This is their old money laundry detergent. Are you kidding me? Now I'm like actually excited to do my laundry. This is the most aesthetic laundry thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And they're non-toxic. How can you even compare? That's so amazing. Then they also have their scent boosters, liquid scent booster, which is super cool. So let's take a look at that. Okay, cute. It's just a little version, but this is going to look like organizing this in my cabinet. I'm so excited. I love the aesthetics. But anyways, check them out if you guys are looking for like a new laundry detergent because this is such a sleigh. Thank you so much to Sniff for sending me this. That was so sweet. I'm going to end off today's vlog here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for staying till this point in the video. You guys literally mean the absolute world to me and I'm so excited for what's to come within the next few months and there's just a lot to come and I'm really excited and thank you so much for sticking with me and I'm always open to chat on my Instagram DMs or down below in the comments and I love you guys so, so, so much. I will see you guys in my next video.